Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I'm doing a totally different video. It is something that I have never even slightly thought about doing before, but this has kind of really changed my life, especially recently. It's changed my mom's life in a lot of ways as well. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it's more of the health aspect of health and beauty, um, but it's something that I think people need to know about and not enough people do know about. Um, 100% disclosure beforehand. I am not an anti-vaxxer. I am not promoting not ever going to the doctor. Please, please vaccinate your little parasites. I am begging you. Please do it. FDR suffered enough. We do not need polio to come back. All right? Okay. That being said, that being said, I think that there is a lack of awareness of the natural healing properties of other things outside of the medical field. I think nowadays people want to subscribe pills they want to go to a doctor and have them say you know hey take this medication hey do this hey you're going to be on this for the rest of your life and this is going to fix your solution and i don't think it always does i think there's a lot of ways that even without really changing your diet without really changing how much you exercise you can properly benefit your body by just putting the right nutrients in it in a very simple way and this is honestly the easiest way you can help your body while doing virtually nothing um, that being said, my mother is, I want to, she wants to wait until, um, she's a little bit further in her weight loss journey, but she has struggled for my entire life with, um, an autoimmune disease. She has, uh, an active thyroid. So she struggled with that. And because of that, she's, um, carried around a lot of excess weight that honestly she really shouldn't have. Um, she doesn't eat at all what it looks like she ate. Um, and she, has struggled in a lot of other physical ways, arthritis, things like that, joint problems. Um, and so about six or seven years ago, she made the decision to go gluten-free and that helped her arthritis a lot, but she didn't lose any weight. Um, she started doing essential oils. Um, she's very into the healing properties of the essential oils and things like that. We have like eight diffusers in our house and they're running pretty much all the time. Um, and I do think that they assist in, in helping, you know, keep your body healthy and helping fight off bacteria and helping calm you and doing a lot of good things. Um, I also, like, when we went to Disney, when I was looking for stuff for her, she's not a t-shirt person, so I got her a Himalayan salt lamp because that's, you know, we've talked about going and doing the Himalayan salt caves and things like that. So we really, um, in this household especially, my mom in particular, is very aware of that. Um, she's recently started a new diet and I'm just broaching this because once she does progress in her weight loss journey, I want to have her on to talk about it. Um, but it's the autoimmune disease protocol diet and it's basically a lifestyle change where she cuts out almost everything. Um, she eats like meats and certain vegetables and that's about it. Um, she can't have potatoes or any sort of starch or anything like that. So it's a crazy diet. It's really working for her though. I think in about four months, five months, maybe she's lost like almost 50 pounds. So um, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and part of what she's been doing along with that is taking Epsom salt baths. And she had told me to do this years ago. Um, like while we were living in Wilmington, she was like, you need to be taking Epsom salt baths. It helps with swelling. It helps with muscle aches. It helps. It's just so healing in such a simple way. And I was kind of like, okay, like, all right, I don't like baths. So that was the part of it. Like people are always like, oh, I love taking a bubble bath. I like bath bombs. I was like, I don't want to sit in my own wet dirt. So I don't want to do that. Um, and now I take honest to God, four baths a week at minimum. If I'm like really in an excessive mood, I'll do like five or six. It's, you probably shouldn't do that many, but I do. Um, because they just make me feel so much better after I do this. Um, the Epsom salts, I can't explain to you how much they have altered the way I exist. Um, and that sounds dramatic, but it's not. Because I was working crazy hours in a restaurant field, I was on my feet for 12, 13 hours at a time. I am a thin person, but my legs would swell and I, I they would swell to the point where like, like, I know I have a thigh gap normally, and they would swell so bad that my legs would be, like, pushed together. And it was crazy to me. And, and it was not weight gain. It was swelling. It was water and inflammation. And my ankles would literally look like little water balloons. And it would frustrate me because there'd be, like, some days I'd be fine. And, and then there are some days where I would, like, I can't fit in these pants that I can wear every other day because my legs are so swollen. So... 
I was really trying to figure out like, what can I do to try and assist with that? So I started doing cleanses and things like that, thinking, you know, hey, if I go in and I try and fix my gastric problems, um, like if I'm not, you know, feeling great or whatever, I can go in and do a cleanse and that'll help with it. And it does, but not as effectively as sitting in an Epsom salt bath. Um, so I've done research and I've looked up what Epsom salt does for you exactly so that you guys can have information as well as not just my recommendation as to why you should do this. Um, so the first thing you need to know about the Epsom salts is the, the biggest thing is they contain a ton of magnesium. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in your body, but most people don't consume it. Um, and if you do, you're not consuming it enough. Um, honestly, we all should be taking magnesium pills and things like that. Um, but you can also do these Epsom salt baths and they will assist in it. Um, okay, tangent. Some people say it's okay to consume the Epsom salt. I wouldn't, I'm not recommending that at all. Some people drink it with a glass of water. They say if you do that, make sure you drink a lot of water because it will dehydrate you like nobody's business. But um, part of the benefit of the Epsom salts is it is a natural lax laxative. So people will do that when they're trying, when they're constipated trying to cleanse themselves. Um, Personally, I think that my um, digestive system has been more regulated since I'm just taking the baths. I've never ingested it in my life. So take a bath and maybe you can avoid having to drink Epsom salts. Uh, but I'll get more into that as well. I'm gonna go kind of in order. I have a couple good articles that I'm gonna reference. Um, but this one particular article says that um, there are more than 325 biochemical reactions that benefit your heart and nervous system that require magnesium um, in them and if you have a lack of it, then you're going to have negative side effects um, So because of that here's just a quick list of things that are going to be benefited by taking an Epsom salt bath um, it helps you with uh, Stress reduction and it creates a better sleep cycle for me personally. That's a really big deal I don't ever sleep because I work in the middle of the night literally I have to be at work at 1 a.m. Most days and I'm only off by 5 a.m. So um, that has changed recently. I switched my positions at my job, but even before I would be going in normally like three o'clock, four o'clock, maybe six o'clock at the latest. So I have for the past year had a very messed up sleep cycle. And um, I feel like with the Epsom salt baths, maybe my sleep cycle is not fixed, of course, because I have to get up every day in the middle of the night. However, when I sleep, I feel like I sleep more solidly. Um, I go into a deeper sleep quicker. And I do, even when I'm only getting two or three hours of sleep before I get up to go to work, I'm feeling more refreshed normally when I wake up. So um, that definitely helps. And I mean, plus you're soaking in a bath. Like it's, it is a relaxing environment already. Enjoy it, you know, sit in your Epsom salt bath and drink wine. I, I don't normally drink when I'm doing it because I'm trying to reduce swelling and alcohol swells, but you can. Um, do that kind of stuff really enjoy it and savor it so that way it feels like you're not doing anything to benefit you besides like your mental health but it's also got benefits for your body okay i mentioned this already but it does help with constipation so it will help you stay regular um it's really good for exercise recovery i think that's how epsom salts kind of came to be at first um it goes in and it breaks down the lactic acid lactic acid that builds up on your muscles after you've worked up uh, worked up worked out i wish i could speak english um, after you've worked out, so it gets in there and it really breaks that down. It takes away the pain, which is a big thing for me as well. A lot of the days when I would come home swollen, my legs would be killing me. It's sitting in the bath really, really, really helps with that. Um, so there's a benefit in that. Uh, and then of course it reduces pain and swelling. So this is a really big thing for people with different autoimmune diseases, different muscular diseases, um, people who have arthritis, like my mother, it is incredible it's not going to fix it it's not a hundred percent solution but if you take epsom salt baths regularly i think you will see a noticeable difference in the amount of pain and swelling that you feel in your body i can tell you like yesterday my legs were a little bit swollen i took a two hour long bath i got out and by that night i was fitting in pants that like were a little tight on me with room to spare so it's just honestly it's honestly mind-blowing to me how quickly i see results when i do use the baths in a day-to-day -day routine. Um, so yes, um, this article also goes on to say like the safety and side effects. There's not a lot of side effects that come from it that are negative unless you're consuming it. If you put it into your body directly, that is a little bit more dangerous. But if you're just soaking in the tub, 
pretty much everybody agrees that it's not going to really hurt you. Um, they recommend putting about two cups of the salt in your bath at a time. For me personally, once again with my mom and her research looking for organic stuff and how dietary things can assist in weight loss and swelling and things like that, she discovered that cabbage, particularly red cabbage, which has a lot of juices in it, is really good for swelling as well and it helps um, swelling in your legs and your knees and stuff go down. So her knees have always been incredibly swollen so she started over the summer before she started her diet rubbing cabbage leaves onto her legs and when you use the purple ones, um, we normally pop them into the freezer, they freeze up, and then when you pull them out and you start breaking them into the spine or whatever, the purple juice like runs out real fast. So I was like, I think it would be less messy if you just float it in a bathtub. So what I do when I take my Epsom salt baths is I also get a couple frozen red cabbage leaves and then I bring them into the bath with me and I break them down and the water turns this beautiful like blue purple color normally. And then they recommend you stay in the bath for at least 40 minutes because for the first 20 minutes, it's basically the magnesium is going into your body and pulling out toxins. And then for the last 20 minutes, it's letting the, um, after the toxins have released, it's letting that, magnes that magnesium absorb into your open pores now and really get in there and start doing their effects. Um, personally, I never take one that's any shorter than an hour if I'm gonna make the process of like filling up the tub and using all the Epsom salts and and doing all of this, I'm gonna go ahead and, and make it worth my while. So I normally try and average about two hours in the tub when I do it. Um, sometimes I do uh, an hour and a half. And normally, I mean, everybody has downtime where the, when they get home from work and they're trying to relax. And you know, if you're gonna watch TV for two hours, then take an hour long bath and then watch TV or bring your iPad or your phone in and stream it. So a lot of times that's what I do, or I read or I do writing, whatever, whatever to occupy my time. But um, I really feel like it's a necessity. It's, it's kind of almost like a, this is how I'm taking care of my body moment. Um, so I, I don't feel guilty for spending two hours in the bath. Um, that being said, I have a wide variety of Epsom salts in front of me. Um, I personally, I really like Target's brand. Um, they're a little bit cheaper than Dr. Teal's, which is I think the, be the best known Epsom salt provider out there. Um, Target's brand, this giant bag really is the way to go. Um, it's eight pounds, it's $4.99. Uh, these little bags of the Dr. Teal's are about $4.98 seven or something like that maybe 489 um and then target also does like little ones in the specialty um variety as well we picked up a himalayan salt one when we were in disney and we had a really big beautiful bathtub we took epsom salt baths all the time trying to help with the swelling and the stuff from walking so much so um i would recommend picking up one of the ones from target one of the big ones that way you can um incorporate that with the specialty ones do a cup of each and that way it'll extend the lives of the more expensive ones um so I have this, and then this one is mine. This is the um, Dr. Teal's uh, Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt, meant to replenish and recharge and rejuvenate your body. Um, this one, these all are my mother's. Um, I haven't bought any of the specialty ones lately, uh, just because I she ordered them online, and when I was in the store, they didn't have them. So, um, but she got a matcha tea that's meant to balance and calm. Of course, matcha tea has antioxidants, so of course that's going to have that healing effect in there. Um, she got a little lavender one. Lavender is really good for sleep and soothing and relaxation. Um, she got a coconut oil one, which this she said is her favorite. She honestly was like, I should have bought all four of them in that because it's completely changed her skin. It's like her skin is so soft because of the coconut oil, because of the properties of the coconut. Um, so I'm going to definitely purchase one of those for myself because I, I was like, oh, that's cool. And then she got the activated charcoal, um, which is meant to cleanse and renew your skin. Uh, just some things that I've noticed that are not really talked about with the Epsom salts from my bath, uh, from my baths. That, uh, for my my new ritual of bathing uh i've always had cellulite didn't matter how thin i was how big i was i just always have had like little cellulite on my upper thighs and my lower butt and um especially when i'm taking them the baths regularly like when i take them two or three days in a row it's almost gone and i've never had that like i don't like wearing shorts because of it i know it's a natural thing it's just one of those things everybody feels differently about their body in different ways I'm not a huge short fan anyway because I always get cold inside. So with the cellulite, it was just like, ah, I don't really want to wear shorts. But it, I've noticed so much of an improvement in that area. It's amazing. And that's what I know people go and they have surgeries and they have people, you know, like vacuum out the cellulite on their butts. And I'm like, they spend $5,000 to do that. And if they soaked in an Epsom salt bath a couple times a week, it probably would do it for them. So, um, so that is nice. And then I also, I don't always get my hair wet, but when I do, 
I feel like it just completely changes, like, my dead ends look healthier, my hair looks shinier, um, so yeah, I've just, I've personally seen such a noticeable difference in my skin and in my body and in the way I feel and in my swelling that I, I really felt, like, compelled to share it with you guys, uh, because it's really in a lot of ways changed my life. So I know this is a, I babbled so much. God love Nikki for having to edit this down, but there was a lot to say on this because I'm very passionate about it. So I hope this was useful for you guys. I hope you guys like this kind of video. If you do, I mean, my mom has really accumulated quite a few tricks and cool things that you can do with like organic natural stuff to help influence the body's health and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so I, if you're interested in this, please comment below. Please tell me. I'd love to have dialogue about it. Um, but I will definitely start working on more videos like this if you guys are into it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for making it through to the end. You guys are the real champs here because it's a lot of babbling. But um, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the page, please subscribe because we are so close to hitting 100 subscribers. We really want to do the 100 subscriber giveaway. And then um, after that, we want to do the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So we're really pushing just as many people we can get to join our little family. I'll be forever grateful. Nikki, be forever grateful. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.